Hello and welcome back to Mickey Art. Uh, my name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm between doing tele calls for my Access U business and I have had something playing in my mind for quite a while now and I just gonna try it. It's just I've got some paints mixed up already. Um, just need to check that they are still a good consistency. Um, this is the new bronze that I bought. This is, um, where is it? There. Beep, 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 beep. Deco Art Metallics Bronze. Um, it's quite liquidy. You don't need much water added to that one at all once you've added the flow troll. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got our... Reeves acrylic light green and I need to find a new one of these because I can't seem to find it anywhere available anymore um, Marie's phthalo cyan blue and I have also I've got a bit of white mixed up here I'm not sure if there's enough white there but I know that we need some white in here because those three colors are pretty dark now, what am I going to be doing today? What I'm going to be doing, I've got these two canvases. And normally, as you, if you've been following my channel, you know I normally pull one canvas at a time. Um, and I, I'm going to do double. I'm going to see if we can see double. Now, obviously with... When you're pouring paint, you're never, ever, going, ever, 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 ever going to get duplicates unless you take a photo and get another copy printed. Um, and the other thing that I have been doing with my runoff, as I've shown you in some previous videos, is pushing a piece of cardboard onto the runoff and creating little things from that and this is one I did when I had quite a bit of runoff and you'll see that you get this cool streakiness it's almost like a swipe um, but then you've also got all the silicon that's in amongst all of that and so what I'm going to try today is um I'm going to do a flip cut. I, but I'm also going to sandwich them together and pull them apart and see what that creates. Uh, so let's get going because I don't have a lot of time before my next tally call starts. I'm going to start off with the white. Oh, I have left less white than I thought I did in there. Ooh, well. How hard is it getting any better than that? So let's go next with some green and then the bronze and then the blue. Oop, wow, that was there's a lot more in there than anything else. <laughs> Mix it up a little bit with the white. A lot of white, as it said. Now, there's also this real definite possibility that I'm not going to have enough paint here for two canvases. And you know what? That's okay. Because this is only experiment. Now, these two canvases... They came in a pack of four from the warehouse. Um, I love these metallics. I like sparkles. Uh, I'm not going to put any more of that in there. 
What else do I have laying around that could just add a bit more paint? <clears throat> Maybe some light blue. Have I got light blue? Yes, I've got some light blue. Let's put a little bit of light blue in there. Just to create a slightly different reality. And I really would like some more white. And I don't have any mix. And I don't have time to mix it. So, so what I'm going to do, there we have it. We have our, our cup all mixed up. And I'm going to do a flip cup on this one. And I want as much of that to come out as possible. So while I'm doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab, grab my brush. And I've got some black here. And I'm going to So I know I said I'm going to try and duplicate them. Haha. <laughs> But that changed. Because you know what? What if you could live your life in 10 second increments? What if you made a choice and then just recognized that by making that choice, what that choice was going to create was not actually what you desired to create. And you could choose again. So here I am just splashing some of this black paint which does have silicon so it's not <laughs> it's not covering a hundred percent well but it is giving something and hopefully will assist in the process all right let's see what this has got on under here oh my god that's so pretty now normally what we do is we torch it <laughs> Check out that. Can we see that? Oh my gosh. Normally we'd torch it and tip it, but not today. Today we're going to squish it. So I'm just gonna and um I'm gonna Paint this stuff around the sides again. Just it's got silicon in it, so it's going weird, bubbly stuff, but that's okay. Look, it's spitting out the sides. How does it get any better? All right, you ready for the big reveal? So. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, we missed a corner. So I'm going to actually I'll let it run in the direction of that corner. Look at all those beautiful cells. I don't even need to torch this. This is so pretty. Yum, yum, yum. Two pretty paintings in one. And some runoff. Ha, <laughs> how's it getting any better than that? Okay. So, where's our torch? Torchy, torchy. A uh, pretty butane torch. Now, this is a... This is not a creme brulee torch. Um... It does silly things like jump out at you. So, those, it really is just to warm the paint, invite the silicon to the top. What hasn't already come up? Isn't it cool? Oh, look, there's a patch of white over there. Oh, look at the sides. Look, oh, that's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so, 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 so pretty. Now, 
bit will run off Now, as you know, I painted the sides of the other one black, so I might just not even worry about what ran off the sides on that one, and just leave it, to, and I'll, oh wow, that's so pretty, oh my gosh, look at that side, and once it's dry, I'm just going to touch it up with some full black in the spots that haven't had run off. Oh, wow, guys. So I'm going to get you down, show you the beauty that is beholded. And let me just try to clean my hands off so I don't get it all over my thing. All over my phone. <clears throat> all right. So there's the two of them side by side. I must say, painting in the daylight gives you a lot better lighting. Look at these cells down here, guys. Oops. Look at the bronze outline. Almost looks like a butterfly wing in that area. And there's some beautiful cells. A bit mushy. But I like them. I like it. I like it. You know what? If I put some purple in this. I reckon we'd have had something a little bit like a power shell. I really like it guys and I'm really grateful for it showing up in my world. There's a few spots there, especially on this canvas that I painted with the black. I should have painted it with straight black without any silicon in it because hey <laughs> look at that caterpillar that's so cute come on see how you can see the canvas through it um, and what I might do is add a little bit of color in those spots straight color without silicon Ooh, I like that bit. Um, or not. Let's see. Alright, so I'm still tossing up whether or not to add a little bit of something into these little areas here. Um... that on there and then tip it so that we get an even layer what will that create will I kick myself afterwards or will it do what I desire to do <laughs> oh. try to keep an eye on what the rest of the painting's doing it when you're tipping sometimes you can be all eyes on what you think you're changing and then this other bit suddenly goes <laughs> okay sniff a lot of gifts paintbrush into the water so that it doesn't go hard and yucky I don't like that little bit in the corner but that's okay 
How does it get any better? Whoops, I made it steam. Sometimes you just do it a little bit too much. making a mess of this one. I left that one well enough alone. But I think I just did not have enough paint. I'm going to stop. I am going to stop. I just am making a total mess. Digging holes. Digging. How's it getting any better than that? Stop fiddling, Michelle. It's got quite a wiggly line thing going on and not really that many cells. So Give them both. I'm more burst with the, with the torch. Just to get the air bubbles. And you know what? I'm not so sure I'd use this one again if I was looking for cells. And I would certainly put down a uh, a colour base without any. Um, silicon in the color base before I started so there you go tell me what you think I'd love to hear your point of view and um, how much magic can we make Actually, you know what I really am not liking this one I really like this one I'm just gonna one more thing I'm gonna Let's see. Bit of blue. What have I got? I got purple here. It's kind of a brownish purple, but it's purple. And you can always use purple. Purple is always a great color. And then I've even got some silver. I'm really going to make a mess of this or I'm really going to make it look great. So let's see. <coughs> Is it 
stir. And worst comes to worst, we can always swipe it, right? And even if we hate that, what else can we do? We can wash it. Start again. Which I have this really bizarre feeling is what's going to happen. I'm just going to move this one out of the way because I really don't want to get paint all over it. Now we're getting something. Now we're getting A, total coverage, and B, some really cool colours. I'm making it now. Alright, here we go. Wipe the hands. Grab the torch. Hello, Silicon, where are you? Look at all those cells. Yummy cells. There's actually not enough paint on there to stretch them. That's okay. I like it. Let's get you down one more time and show you what we got. And then I'm going to go and facilitate consciousness. There you go guys, I really like that. Got a touch of that green and bronze. Got the blues and purples. They're really cool. Got some really pretty cells in there as well. There you go. It started off like a uh, Trying to make a duplicate, we've ended up with two very different paintings. This one here, and this one over here. How does it get any better than that? So, thank you all for joining me here at Mickey Art. And please let me know what you think in the comments. How totally different these two paintings are. And which one do you prefer? Which one do you like both best? And uh, how much fun can you have creating your life? And what if you could choose in any 10 seconds to create completely change what you're creating? Have fun. Bye-bye. Thank you.